Hi, I'm Anne, and I am the Community Outreach Coordinator with ProMusica Chamber Orchestra. This is Ellen, and she's a bassoonist with ProMusica. Today is our virtual musical story time. Me, Ellen, you and your grown-up are going to have so much fun. First, we are going to sing a song, and then I'm going to introduce the letter of the day. After that, Ellen will present a show and tell with her bassoon. Finally, we are going to read a great story that you might already know called Snow White. I'm ready, are you? Ellen and her bassoon will be joining us for our song today, which is Bingo! This song is great because we get to practice five letters of the alphabet, B, I, N, G, and O. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, great job singing. Now I'm going to take off the B. So we're left with four letters I, N, G, and O. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, we're going to take away another letter. So we're only left with three letters, N, G, and O. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, <gasps> good job. We have only two letters left, G and O, which also spells go. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, <gasps> we're going to take away the G, which means we are only left with the letter O, which is our last letter. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, we're going to sing it one more time, but we're going to take away all of the letters. So we have nothing left. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, And Bingo was his name, oh. Great job singing, everyone. Give your grown-up a high five. Now give yourself a high five. Today's letter of the day is B. This is the uppercase B, and this is the lowercase B. To write the uppercase B, you draw one line down and two bumps. To write the lowercase B, you draw one line down and one bump. B makes the b, b sound. Can you try? B, b, b. Very good. There are lots of different words that start with B. Do you know what this is? It has lots of pages and pictures. It's a book. Book starts with the letter B. B, B, book. Now I'm going to show you a picture of something else that starts with B. Do you know what this is? It's a bass clef. It's a symbol that musicians use to read music that is usually lower. A bass clef starts with B, 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 bass clef. Finally, I'm going to show you an instrument that starts with B. Do you know what this is? 
it's a bassoon. Bassoon starts with the letter B. Ba, ba, bassoon. Now I'm going to turn it over to Ellen so that she can show you her bassoon. Hi everybody. As Anne said, my name is Ellen and I'm the principal bassoonist of the Pro Music Academy Orchestra. So I have here with me, of course, my bassoon. I don't know how much familiarity you have with the bassoon, but the bassoon is a member of the Woodwind family. We are one of the lower pitched members of the Woodwind family. Um, and we are a double reed instrument. Now, what makes double reeds special is that we make our own mouthpieces out of two pieces of cane, which is a big grass, but it kind of looks like wood. So we take two thin pieces of this cane and we tie it together. And that's how we actually create the sound that goes through this whole instrument. So if you play the reed by itself, it doesn't make the most pleasant sound. And that's why it's nice to have this long tube here to amplify the sound. Now the bassoon is, as I mentioned, one of the lowest instruments. And um, you may have noticed when you see like a flute or a piccolo or something small, they play up really high. And bigger instruments like the tuba play down really low. The bassoon has a ton of tubing. It goes all the way down to the bottom here. It loops down on the bottom where you can't see through. And it goes all the way back up. So that's how we get these nice low notes. And I'm going to play a section from a piece called The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which you may have heard already if you've ever seen the movie Plantation. So here we go. Thank you so much for sharing about your bassoon, Ellen. Today's story is Snow White by Chloe Perkins and illustrated by Misa Sabori. Once upon a time, there was a princess called Snow White. <laughs> She lived in a magnificent castle with her stepmother, a beautiful but wicked queen. Each day, the queen would ask her magic mirror, Who is the fairest in the land? You are, the mirror would answer. Until one day, Snow White is the fairest of them all, said the mirror. The queen was suddenly very jealous of Snow White. She ordered her servant to do away with the princess at once. The queen's servant led Snow White deep into the forest, but he had a change of heart. He warned Snow White about the queen. He told the princess to run far, far away. Soon night fell. Snow White walked alone through the very dark forest. Just as the sun began to peek through the trees, she came upon a little cottage. It 
was filled with little teacups and little lanterns and even little beds. Who lived in the tiny house? The princess was so tired that she fell fast asleep. When Snow White awoke, there were seven little sets of eyes watching her. They belonged to the seven dwarves. The dwarves were kind and they agreed to help Snow White hide from the evil queen. The next day, the dwarves had to leave the cottage. Do not let anyone in, they warned the princess. But the queen had discovered where Snow White was. She came to the cottage disguised as an old woman selling apples. <laughs> said the queen in her disguise. I will give you the best apple from my basket. Snow White remembered the dwarf's warning, but when she peeked out and saw that it was just an old woman, she opened the door. <laughs> the evil queen gave the princess a shiny red apple. Snow White took a small bite. Suddenly, she fell down poisoned. The queen laughed wickedly. Only true love's kiss can wake you, she said, and then ran away. When the dwarves came home, they found Snow White. They quickly put her to bed. Then one night, there was a terrible storm. A prince was walking through the forest when he came upon the little cottage. He hoped whoever lived there would give him shelter. The seven dwarves gladly took in the prince. Then they told him about the sleeping princess. The prince asked to see Snow White. When he saw her, he knew he loved her. He gave her a kiss. Snow White suddenly opened her eyes. The prince's love for her was true and it had broken the spell. <laughs> Snow 
Snow White thanked the dwarves for all their help. Together, she and the prince returned to the prince's kingdom. <laughs> There they lived happily ever after. That was Snow White by Chloe Perkins. What a wonderful story. Ellen and I loved getting to spend some time with you today. Have a musical bee-filled day. Maybe you'll get to play with bubbles or read more books or even listen to a composer named Beethoven. Until next time. <laughs>